showing two completely different oh, styles. And, and he's on the line once vibe more. Is vibe, what the hell, dude? Oh, Dan. <laughs> oh, what Dan. The, you just keep on okay. winning, man. I know. When it's did this? Uh, when did, when did this transformation <laughs> happen? Like that you you've always been a good North American Zerg player. I remember watching you at MLG through 2010, 2011. But you were never, no offense, but you were never getting these kinds of results. W when did you make take the step from being a good North American player to being one of the premier North American players and and getting your name up there with some of the top Zergs on the planet? I honestly think it was after Diablo 3 came out because I had <laughs> never taken a break. I'm not even kidding, man. I was, like, stressing myself out because I would practice for hours and hours and hours on end, and I would always, like, put such, um, like, high expectations on myself, and I would never achieve what I wanted. So then after I took a break for, like, three weeks with Diablo 3, like, that, I feel like it just kind of reset me, and then ever since then, I've been playing a lot better. Do you feel that you're more relaxed when you sit down and you play in these competitive settings? Yeah, I mean, I still get, I still do occasionally get nervous, but for the most part, I just feel like I'm like, I have a different mindset, I guess, when I play. So it and, feels pretty. Good. You know, there was there was one of the things that you were most known for before, is being this just blazingly fast keyboard on fire player. Uh, you're still very fast, but you've slowed down a little bit. What's up with that? Yeah. Oh, well, I used to try and play faster than I could handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was partly for like showmanship i guess <laughs> like hey look how fast i am <laughs> but, like i would make a lot of mistakes because like i wouldn't actually be controlling my units as well as i could be so i felt like i just tried to actually become a little bit more accurate and a, a little less fast and uh it's that's also been working out for me pretty well how fast do you think a zerg player needs to be to play starcraft 2 at a proficient level uh I'd say just in general, StarCraft 2, you can, you can probably get away with like 150 to 200 APM if you're just efficient. So not, not blazingly fast, but enough, I would say. Zerg, I definitely think Zerg for the mechanics requires you to be on top of it with some more APM, but it probably doesn't take too much. Probably like around 200. Uh, vibe. How good do you think Elfie would be if he played Zerg? <laughs> Amazing. He'd make some like weird Nidus builds and make them work somehow with like queens. Elfie <laughs> would win, man. Uh, 22 minute, two base all in off of 36 drones. <laughs> the, the ultimate <laughs> late bailing bust, like when nobody expected that. 200 anymore. supply, two base bailing bust out of Nidus worms. That's how <laughs> Elfie would do it. Vibe, you mentioned uh, the release of Diablo 3, that you sort of feel that that was a turnaround point in your career. And that was also some, uh, sometime during NSL season 3 last uh, season. That was also the time that It's Gozo decided to release you back then, and uh, you decided to join up with Twin Root once more. Uh, do you feel that like back then your performance in NSL, because despite you didn't have the best record in the league, you went 3-5 last season, but you played a couple of really great best of threes, and both Ben and me, we were praising you a lot, uh, even when you were teamless, and then when you joined up with Root before your WCS successes. Did those games give you a lot of confidence that you felt like, hey, I can actually pretty much compete with the best despite not winning yet? Uh, was that a mental boost for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've I've competed with some really good players outside of like the spotlight, and I've I've had some pretty good games that, like for instance, like ladder games. But I feel like getting some big wins, like in previous seasons, like in NASL season three, it really helped me kind of get my nerves down and not get so nervous when I would actually play a match against someone who is really good. So it, I would say that's probably the biggest thing it did for me was help me kind of like calm my nerves when I would play matches from that point on. Wow. Well, you, you displayed some great games last season, but I still said, you said last season you had a record of 3-5. Right now, we're two weeks into season four, and you're 2 0 best of threes, Vibe. Vibe, where are you going with this? Where are you going to end? Uh, I, I hope to go pretty far, but I'm looking, uh, I'm looking at the middle of my group for me, and it's like, or it's not the middle of the group, but it's like, I'll, I'll be playing them eventually, and it's MC and Teja, and those... Those names are a little oh, scary. Oh, come on. Those are easy wins, <laughs> man. <laughs> Those names are a little scary. So I'm, uh, I'm actually, like, realistically, I'm glad I got some wins out of the way now because it would be really nice to get some wins against them. But, it, yeah, it's just going to be really hard. So I'm, I'm glad I have some wins now. <laughs> my, my, uh, my last question for you is uh, about WCS and about the Battle.net World Championship, which is coming up in uh, a couple of months. Uh, first place in the American finals, second place in the Continental finals. Uh, Two-part question. Uh, first, where do you where do you feel like you stand on the North American ranking scale? And second, how do you feel like you're going to do in China? Uh, the first part of that, I feel like I'm. I, I wasn't really sure after my WCS USA victory. I felt like I had a really good weekend, but I wasn't sure if I could look into it much more than that. Like I wasn't sure if like oh I'm 
I'm consistently doing better. But then I've actually, since then, I've had a lot of like matches outside of WCS as well that I've been doing really well in. And then I also ended up getting second in WCS North America. So I feel like just for the time being right now, I'm definitely a top contender in the North American scene. And uh, I, I don't know if I would call myself second just because I got second in WCS, but I definitely say I'm like top 10 in uh, North America. So humble, Pipe. Uh, so <laughs> humble. Top 10 selling yourself way short, in my opinion. Uh, what, are your, what, are your, what, are your, what are your goals for oh, China? Oh, I was going to say, I'll answer the second part. I, I think in China, as long as I don't get someone extremely good, like one of the Koreans, like Creator or something, because... I, I don't know, like Korean Protoss and Korean Terran, they're pretty insane. They're really, really hard to play against because if you make a single mistake, you just lose. So I feel like if I just get a decent bracket that I'm comfortable with, I could do pretty well. But winning WCS China, I think I'd have to have a really good weekend again, again, or I guess. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I, we'll, think we'll <laughs> I guess it's safe to say that then. Uh, last but not least, we don't want to keep you here too long. Next weekend, the Root Battle Royale is coming up. Now, a couple of the guys on the Root, certainly TT1, has been playing a ton of Heart of the Swarm. Cats has been streaming Heart of the Swarm. Uh, I must say, I haven't seen a whole lot of you in Heart of the Swarm yet. Are you excited to play in the Root Battle Royale, and what are your expectations? Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm stoked. I haven't actually been to the NSL offices yet, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to go. You ready and to go I, to the NSL Skyrise? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I played a little bit of Heart of the Swarm like in the first week or two it came out. I was actually grinding a lot of it just to experience it. But then I thought that it would be better for me to go back to Wings of Liberty for a little while and actually just kind of not let myself burn out. Or not burn out, but like not let myself kind of like deteriorate in my current like momentum I have going in uh, Wings of Liberty. So I didn't really want to just ignore it completely. So I kind of took a break from the beta. <laughs> But I'm definitely going to, like, now that I don't really have a match for the next few days until I show up in California, I'll probably be playing a lot of Heart of the Swarm again mm. and just trying to grind out some builds to make happen in the show match we've got going on. All right, right. Vibe. well, congratulations on your win over Thorazane. Good luck next week. Good luck throughout the rest of this season. Do you have any final shout-outs, thank yous, anything that you would like to say just to the general public before we hang up on you? Yeah, just thanks to friends and family and uh, everyone who supports esports and myself and everyone else. It's uh, awesome, and thanks you guys for the event. And I'll give a one special shout out to Major uh, <laughs> on my teammate. And then the reason is because I was actually pretty. Uh, I, I, my ZVT lately, I feel like has been pretty poor. And I talked with Major last night, and I practiced with him for like three hours. And I actually the builds that I used against, uh, like at least my openings and the builds I used against Thorazane were kind of like his idea. So. Thanks, Major. Thanks, Juan. And thank you, Vibe. Now 2-0 in the North American Star League and one of the leaders in his groups. Congratulations, Vibe. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next weekend. Uh, coming up next, guys, our final match of the night, MC versus Bishu. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's on the docket, but we've got another special segment with Andre before that. In the meantime, we're going to play a very short commercial break. Going to say a final thank you to uh, Kingston HyperX for sponsoring that last game. Their full line of SSD and RAM is available at kingston.com. Go check them out. Uh, stick around. Segment with Andre and MC Bishu when we get back.